Ben says it. Bed, bed, Tim. How did you bend? How was that pipe? Oh, it was Carl's. It was Carl's too. You're in trouble. You're in trouble now. Use that broken uh, tire iron. There you go. That was Carl's too. Yeah. Was he good mood or? I guess so. There you go, Tim. Would you look at that? Oh, would you look at that? We don't have that bearing. Speedy, you will have it. Bearings and draws. Bearings and draws. And a seal. I think I have the seal. Broke everything. Blown tires. Get towards the end of the year, but you know, I got to tell you, I was in and looked at the uh, the bearings and the stuff on the chrome bales. Last year, they had like an eighth of an inch of wear on each one of those bearings, the outer casing of that bearing. Now they're twenty five hundred dollars to replace those bearings. They're expensive. And Gerald, Gerald said flat out, he's like, um, Ooh. I puked, man. Gerald said flat out, he says, listen, the, uh, there's no getting around this. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's the seal. We have the seal. The, uh, he says, with 1,200, you're going to get freaking sharp spots on there. Don't do that. Get a rag and don't hurt it. All right, so I got in there today, and he set up the grease to grease more. It was like 25 minutes on, 5 minutes off, 25 minutes on, 5 minutes off. Which doesn't sound like much, but that's like 10, 10 or so minutes in an hour. Uh, mm -hmm. No! He said about 45 minutes on, 5 minutes off. So he changed it so that it would be higher. Now that allows more grease to go through those bearings, and that grease is coming out of the bearings and coating the outside of those things. There's no wear on it at all. Last year you could visibly see a, a 16th to an 18th of an inch. Off of them bearings. This year, nothing. And I got, well, I'm right at what we had last year. And this is harder conditions this year over the last by 10 times. What do you think, Jim? Stinky. Stinky, stinky? It's been broken a while. Oh, no kidding. You know what you do there? You've got to heat it up, I think. That's a regular wheel bearing. I don't think it's anything special. I'm just hoping it didn't spin and heat friction weld itself on. Yeah. What do you think, Tim? Oh, yeah, I don't have those. They're regular wheel bearings, so. What did I do with those? Hmm. I know I had them from the Western Star. Oh, yeah, that's sheer. That's just sheer. That, that, it'll be like a razor if you get a hand on it. Well, here, I'll, I'll see if I can whack that off. There's a skeeter on my skeeter. Whack it off. <laughs> Whack it off. Whack it off. Whack it off. What did you just say? There's a skeeter. <laughs> you never heard that? No. There's a dozen on my cousin. I can hear the bastards buzzing. Here's a skier on my Peter wagon off. That's. <laughs> Never heard that. Really? Well, you probably. I said, right. You must have heard that. Oh, that's the reason why I came here, too. I need that pick you told me you have. Huh. Hello. Eat it. Just track him. Yeah, I think if you could just track him. Put it in there and go. That's it, and then you pick them up. You might want to put them in a box. Well, we're out in the shop late. We're out there a lot. Shopping. We got a pooler on it. 
and it's starting to, the end of the crankshaft is starting to get a little fun. It had the bolt nut off of it, and he's getting tired and grumpy. I don't think I ever heard off of this truck. <laughs> Not once. Other than damn, damn. Maybe son of a bitch, but that's about it. Sons of bitches. Them sons of bitches, he would say that. But not very often. No, I don't think so. No, he's a pretty good guy. I mean, you know, he had his faults. But uh, anyway, we're working on this stupid thing, and he had enough of it. Get it off or we're gonna break it. He takes a hammer, bang, and the thing goes boom, Whoa. jumps right off. Thank <laughs> you. 